Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, here I am. I want to start by apologizing. I couldn't get a video out uh, as much as I tried to get a video out last week. It was just crazy. Uh, you most of you probably have seen this and already know, uh, but there it is, guys. Uh, I have uh, won the Instructor of the Year for the state of Georgia, TCSG. There's a story if you want to read up on it. I will also uh, put the link to the actual speech that I gave that night and let you guys uh, see it if you like. If you don't, no worries. Uh, but I'll put the link to it in this discussion somewhere. Uh, but I want to just start by thanking you because this is what we do and, and why we do it. Um, uh, we really uh, have uh, you know no other reason than to come to work than to you know, promote you and, and to do it for you. And I try to do the best I can. And I apologize last week was a crazy week. Plus, uh, this video is coming in on a Tuesday because I don't know if you can tell, my walls are empty. We're moving to the new building. And um, we've gotten to, uh, to a point where we have to have everything packed by a certain date. Movers are going to come take everything out. So I've been putting everything in boxes, trying to keep a registration going. We have advisement today. It's just been wild. Uh, plus, on top of that, my schedule is getting booked. Um, I will be speaking in different, uh, I guess, uh, different places for this um, ambassadorship with TCSG. So I'm excited to do that. But I, I wanted to connect with you because I, I feel that, you know, I don't want to lose the touch between us. And I, I know that we are down to just just a few more weeks and I wanted to get to what we got left and what to expect as we always do we are on week number seven first and foremost week number six I will not penalize anybody for my lack of abilities to be able to get a video out you will not be penalized for that if you did your original post and replied to one just one this just just last week just week six if you did your original post and reply to one student, I will give you full credit for that week. Uh, this week, of course, I'm putting up the video. We go right back to the normal theme. We'll have a discussion that I'm putting up right now, right after this. Uh, so, And then, of course, week number eight, which will be our next week, our last week, we have our final. Now, let me just uh, give you some information about the final so you can be prepared. Uh, the final is due by May 5th. It will open up on the 29th at 12 o'clock in the morning or 12 a.m. And it will close at 11.59 on the 5th. There is absolutely no extensions. So please, guys, make time for this. Um, let me give you details about the test. Uh, the final exam is going to consist of multiple choice questions. You have 50 questions, a total of 500 points. On the policies, I want you to see this, I have removed any time limits. So there is no time limits. Uh, so please make sure that you are, uh, um, you know, have plenty of time to sit down and, and do this test. There's also uh, one attempt. There's not multiple attempts. There's just one attempt to it. So one attempt. No time limit, opens up on Monday, closes the following Sunday, and we're done. That's the end of the semester. So uh, I wanted to put up this video real quick, make sure that we stay connected. Uh, there is a email that should be floating around in your inbox that's for a survey of this class. Please do that. That, that does make a difference. Uh, they look at the completion rates of that. And it would be uh, helpful for me to understand what's worked and what doesn't work. Uh, if you have a major grievance with me, I, I would have expected you to email me directly. Uh, most of you guys have been extremely uh, good at doing your work and keeping up. Uh, and have done good in just, you know, uh, fulfilling this class requirements and doing what you're supposed to. And as a result, you're, you're obviously doing, a, uh, you're getting a passing grade. Um, other than that, what can I tell you? I will share with you this because I know you guys follow this with me, but uh, let's see if I can kind of pull this camera with me. Take a look at that. That is, my friends, a Nespresso machine, which I was able to purchase with the um, 
uh, money that they gave me from being the uh, instructor of the year. So I have a new machine to make coffee at the highest quality that I probably have tasted. Uh, it is phenomenal. Here's the down downside to that. So it's so good. I drank about three cups yesterday of coffee, and last night I could not sleep at all. I was wide awake all night. My, I mean, just couldn't couldn't even get some rest. But um, of course, you know what I did the first thing I got here is I turned that thing on, uh, and I made myself a cup of coffee. So. It's Oh, it's pretty sweet. But anyhow, if you're ever in town, if you're ever in Dalton, Georgia, come on by. Let me give you a cup of coffee. Let's chat about life. I hope everything's gone well this semester. We have just a couple weeks left. Uh, uh, you know, and, and uh, it goes by very quick, as I, as I told you, chapters 13 and 14. We're talking about the culture and the importance of organizational subcultures that exist within our organization. And, and 14, we're talking about the elements of uh, Lao Wins uh, force field analyst model. So it's going to be uh, exciting to see what you guys come up with. I'll have a discussion up here shortly, and this will be up here. Obviously, if you're watching it, then you've gotten it. And I'll put the link to my speech that I gave. Um, I almost lost it at one point. I uh, got emotional being up there. You know, I'm just a a kid from Chicago who wasn't the best student, and here I am, by the grace of God, um, receiving an, an accolade that I, you know, anyone, any one of those people standing on that stage should have deserved. So uh, I once again want to thank you because you're the reason for this. You're the reason why I come to work every day to get to know you and see you succeed. So I wish you the best. I uh, have one more video next week that I'll post. It will be our final goodbye. If you haven't signed up for summer classes, time is running out quickly. Please do so. And, and I think that should capture it. Oh, I got one more gift for you. So as we uh, reach the end, I start getting these messages from people worried about their grade. I don't accept late assignments. It's just the rule I have. Um, you know, I don't take late work. It would be a nightmare to do that and unfair to everybody who has done their work on time. So I don't do that. But what I do do as a replacement is I am going to forgive you um, basically uh, two of your assignments and two two of your weekly tests. I'm going to uh, drop the two lowest scores of that. So I hope that helps. Uh, once again, like I said, I don't receive late assignments, but I do receive, I but I do uh, give you, I'll give you those two uh, lowest drop scores of your assignments and two of your lowest drop weekly test score. So I uh, appreciate it. appreciate you guys. Uh, always here in Dalton, give me a call if you need me or just send me an email. If not, enjoy the speech uh, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a wonderful day and like always guys, coffee is always a brewing. Talk to you soon.